among several flip flops which flip flop is used as a storage element d flip flop is used as a storage element is the right answer flip flop with dry state buffer is called as memory cell why because a flip flop with uh, dry state buffer in the input and dry state buffer in the output combine together to form a memory cell dry state buffer in the input is for write control uh, dry state buffer in the output is called read control so yeah, flip flop with two dry states buffer, one in the input and one in the output is called as memory cell. One memory cell. Eight such memory cells with 16 such dry state buffers are called a 8 bit register, which has read write capability. Combine together, it has been discussed. Okay. So, a flip flop with the dry state buffer is called as a memory cell. For addressing 4 GB memory space, how many address lines are needed? 32 address lines are needed because 2 power 10 is 1 KB, 2 power 20 is 1 MB, 2 power 30 is 1 GB, 2 power 31 is 2 GB, 2 power 32 is 4 GB of memory space. Intel Core i7 is a Intel Core i7 is a 64 bit processor. Intel Core i7 is a 64 bit processor. Memory mapping is a process of connecting the microprocessor data lines with the corresponding memory chip. No. Memory mapping is a process of connecting the microprocessors address lines with the corresponding memory chip. So, the answer is false. Okay, the answer is false as you see here. Chip select signal is used to select one among the multiple registers in a chip, one among the multiple memory chips, select all the memory ICs, select all the registers. So, chip select signal is used to select one among the multiple memory chips. Okay is one among the multiple memory chips is the right answer right because several chips are there in a in a motherboard the processor need to access one particular chip means it will give the chip select signal so that chip will be selected and data will be transmitted through the data line because there is only one data line which is multiplexed with all the ic's to with whichever ic a microprocessor is communicating that ic is alone enabled by chip select signal so chip select signal is used to select one among the multiple memory chips this is the right answer dedicated hardware contains microcontroller with necessary input output device microcontroller with necessary input output device is a dedicated hardware okay dedicated software contains a code for microcontroller okay because crystal oscillator comes under hardware power on reset circuit comes under hardware vcc and ground comes under hardware hence Code for microcontroller is a right answer. Dedicated software contains code for microcontroller. Dedicated product contains dedicated hardware and dedicated software. Because that is very important, right? So, dedicated product contains dedicated hardware and dedicated software, which is 3D, which is embedded system that we have discussed. Dedicated hardware module for a traffic light controller is dedicated hardware module for a traffic light controller is microcontroller with LEDs connected to GPIO pin is the right answer because by using LED itself we can make one embedded system product which is traffic light controller. So the hardware module means microcontroller with the LEDs connected to GPIO. This alone is more than enough. So there is no LCD required for a traffic light controller. Seven segment display is optional, right? All the signals do not have seven segment display, but all the signals will have a LED that has been discussed. Microcontroller uh, with full up resistors connected to GPIO pins is not necessary because default all the microcontroller GPIO pins are connected with full up resistors. This is understood. So the right answer here is dedicated hardware module for a traffic light controller is microcontroller with LEDs connected to GPIO pins. To make the code to execute forever, the syntax in C program is while one. So toggle all the 8 bits in power 2 pin. The following is the sequence of code. Toggle all the bits in 8 bits in power 2 pin. The following is the sequence of code. So P2 equal to AA and P2 equal to 5 is the code which will toggle all the 8 pins. Because AA is 1010101. 5 is 0101010. So all the pins will toggle if you give AA and 5 In all the other three cases, only few pins will blink. So that is what the thing that you need to understand, right? So to toggle all the 8 bits in power 2 pin, the following sequence, following is a sequence of code. No? P2 equal to AA and P2 equal to 5 5 will toggle all the 8 pins. Persistence sufficient means every human eye can able to see only 16 changes per second. But we all know A is the right answer. Every human can able to see 60 changes is not correct, 50 changes is not correct, 30 changes is not correct, 16 changes is the right answer. 
when the fan is rotating in high speed due to persistence of vision fan leaves look like disc fan leaf look like disc disc is the right answer fan leaves look like disc disc is the right answer here in one second how many frames are changing in television receiver 50 frames are changing in television receiver which is uh, c cam or pal standard tv standard that we have discussed that is why every 20 millisecond uh, screen frame has to be refreshed as we discussed why there is a need to introduce delay in between the blinking of an LEDs to visualize to human eye. To save more power is secondary, to reduce the execution speed of the processor is secondary, to prevent the damage to LEDs is secondary. So we are introducing a delay in between the blinking of LEDs to visualize it to human eye is the right answer, which is the correct answer. And uh, what is host machine? PC is host machine, right? Personal computer is a host. Host is a place where uh, what we do everything. So we do everything only in the PC, hence PC is the host machine then the microcontroller board, then both PC and microcontroller and then the microprocessor. So PC is the host machine, is the right answer. What is target machine? Microcontroller board is the target machine. As we all know, the application that what we developed is the target machine. So microcontroller board is the target machine, which is the right answer. The executable file for a microcontroller is in which format? Intel hex file format. The major hardware part of the TV remote controller is microcontroller. Which one of the following application is not using seven segment display? Digital multimeter uses seven segment display as we all know very well. Weighing scale uses seven segment display as we all know very well. Digital thermometer, obviously we are able to see uh, the temp temperature is 98 or etc. That is also using seven segment display. Tablet PC, tablet means it uses LCD screen, right? It is not using LED. So tablet PC or uh, tablet which is using, which is not using seven segment display. Okay, so they use a graphics LCD display. So, but digital multimeter, weighing scale and digital thermometer, they use only seven segment displays, but tablets are displaying a lot of audio and video, hence it has a graphics display. So tablet is the right answer for this question. So which appliance is not using seven segment display? So with seven segment display, we can display all decimal numbers, all uppercase letters, all lower case letters, all hexadecimal numbers. Okay, so if you see all uppercase letters means it will become uh, alphabets. That is uppercase is impossible with seven segment display. Lowercase is impossible with seven segment display. Hexadecimal numbers is impossible with seven segment display. So it is possible, but with seven segment display, you can display decimal numbers. We use seven segment display to display decimal numbers. So all decimal numbers is the right answer. For a common cathode type of seven segment display, the seven segment code for the number five is if you put a table, the seven segment code for a number five is 0x6d. Okay, 0x6d is the right answer. So if we give 0x6d, then it will display five in the seven segment display. Okay, if we give 0x6d to the seven segment display, common cathode type of seven segment display, and the display will show five. So the right answer is C. So the BCD equivalent of the hexadecimal 0x0c is 0c means it is 12. Okay, A means 10. B means 11, C means 12. So 12 means what? It's BCD equivalence. Binary coded decimal means 12. 12 means uh, 0001 and 0010. Okay, the D is the right answer. So interface seven segment display, which one of the following statement is correct? As you see rightly here, right? So BCD to, first we have to convert binary to BCD like this. And this BCD has to be converted to seven segment display. So binary to BCD and BCD to seven segment is the two code conversions which are mandatory for interfacing seven segment display. So to interface seven segment display, which one of the following statement is correct? Binary to BCD and BCD to seven segment code conversions are mandatory. So C is the right answer. Hexadecimal to binary. So both the hexadecimal are binary, both are same. All are binary, right? So the way of understanding is different way of displaying is different with respect to hexadecimal and binary. So the answer A is wrong. Decimal to binary is there is no use because all the microprocessors are doing binary arithmetic. All the microprocessors are doing binary arithmetic. That binary need to be converted to BCD. Then with that BCD has to be converted to seven segment if we are connecting seven segment display. Hence, binary to BCD and BCD to seven segment code conversions are mandatory is the right answer. C is the right answer for this question. If you have a seven, if you have a LCD display, binary to BCD and BC to ASCII. After converting into ASCII, if we give it to the LCD display, it will display the uh, same character in the ASCII format in the screen. 
okay but binary has to be converted to bcd this is primary after that it has to be converted to either seven segment code or uh, ascii code or graphics code that is later on based on the display device that what we have in our application to check the specifications of any integrated circuit it is better to look at all of us know very well it is better to look at the data sheet so user manual user manual is necessary for the kit whenever we are purchasing any kit from the manufacturer the manufacturer will give the user manual how to use this kit even if you purchase a car for a car there is a user manual if there is a if you purchase a refrigerator for refrigerator we have a user manual if you purchase a tv there is a user manual if you buy a product then user manual is necessary if we study the syllabus means you need a textbook and if you need a syllabus means you need a class notes but the specification of an ic integrated circuit right so specification of an integrated ic means whenever there is an ic it is mandated to look at the data sheet so data sheet is the right answer as all of us know so which one of the following application is not using lcd display okay digital multimeter yes it uses only lcd display because it is all the battery operated devices uses lcd why because it consumes very less power so digital multimeter is a battery operated device hence it uses lcd calculator is a battery operated device hence it uses lcd all of us know ticket vending machine all the conductors are hanging that in their neck that is also using lcd it's very good. but induction stove is plug in right induction stove is plug in so it is connected to the eb plug so for that lcd is not necessary so induction stove if you take induction stove you have a seven segment display only so induction stove do not have lcd when compared to all these three induction stove is directly plugged in to the eb power supply all these three devices are using battery so battery operated devices needs very low power consuming devices lcds are the only device which consumes very low power so digital multimeter calculator and ticket vending machine uses very low power hence they use lcd induction stove only we can use leds are used most widely so the right answer for this question is induction stove which one of the following appliances is earning money by itself right okay so digital multimeter is not earning money ticket vending machine is not earning money by itself induction stove is not earning money itself coin box in name itself justifies coin box is earning money it's by itself that is the right answer to display alpha numerical characters which matrix is the standard pi cross 7 matrix is the standard so always column first then row second with respect to all the thing even if you take the lcd 16 cross 2 lcd so 16 columns and two rows first column comes then row comes okay in lcd if you say 16 cross 2 lcd means it is not 16 rows and two columns 16 columns and two rows similarly pi cross 7 matrix means five columns and seven rows so to display alpha numerical characters which matrix is standard pi cross 7 matrix that means with the help of pi cross 7 matrix that means uh seven rows and five columns so seven five are 35 with the help of 35 led matrix all the upper case letters like uh, capital a to capital z all the lower case letter like uh, small a to small z and all the special special symbols like semicolon colon apostrophe uh, underscore question mark exclamation mark all the ascii characters can be displayed in such a way that human being can understand so the standardized matrix is 5 cross 7 matrix if there is a 5 cross 7 matrix then it is easy for any human being to understand all the alpha numerical characters if it is seven segment display it is easy for all human being to understand the numbers from 0 to 9 which is decimal number so that we need to understand okay so to display alpha numerical characters which matrix is the standard means right answer is pi cross 7 matrix that we need to understand so which one of the following is the standard for used standard used for alpha numeric display so normally to display alpha numeric display means american standard code for information interchange is used as we all know very well so bcd is only for numbers integers are only for numbers characters are only for uh, characters alone right so it is easy for us to remember so which one of the following is a standard used for alpha numeric display ascii ascii is the right answer american standard code for information interchange is the standard used for alpha numeric display so the right answer is a antenna can act as a transceiver transmitter as well as receiver so the antennas are used as a simplex device or half duplex device or full duplex device or both half duplex or full duplex okay is the question so the question itself is having answer transceiver so at an instant it can act as a transmitter or receiver so all the antennas 
are acting as a half duplex device. As you all know, most of you are wireless and communication engineers. So all are half duplex. So there is only one antenna. The same antenna is acting as a transmitting antenna for a period of time. The same antenna is receiving a, used as a receiving antenna for a period of time. So it alternately happens. Hence, it is half duplex. So antenna can act as a transceiver, which is half duplex in nature. So half duplex is the right answer. So data transfer between RAM, RAM and the processor is parallel data transfer because the random access memory which is there in the motherboard. So motherboard random access memory as you see there are 64 lines or there are 32 lines are there. Those 32 through the 32 lines the data bus of the processor is directly connected. Hence there is a high speed data transfer taking place between the RAM and the processor. So data transfer between the RAM and the processor is parallel data transfer. Okay, for high speed parallel and for low speed serial, for long distance serial, this and all stories, right? So the right answer is parallel data transfer. So data transfer between the RAM and processor is parallel data transfer is the right answer. So all serial transmitters are parallel in serial load shift register. That's very important because internally everything is happening parallelly. So, but you have to transmit it serially means bit by bit you have to shift out. So parallel in serial, parallel in serial load shift registers are the uh, mm -hmm. transmitter portion of all the serial protocols or all the serial ports. So A is the right answer, right? So parallel in serial out. So internally the processor uh, do parallel data transfer for high, high speed computation, but the data has to go out serially bit by bit. Hence all the uh, serial buffers or serial shift registers, serial shift registers are parallel in serial out shift register. In 8051, S buff is parallel in serial out shift register. In the transmitter side, in the receiver side, the vice versa, serial in parallel shift register. Because the question is transmitters, hence the right answer is parallel in serial load shift register. So all serial transmitters are parallel in serial load shift registers. Okay. So which one of the following peripheral is needed to generate baud rate? Timer is used to generate baud rate. We know very well in 8051, timer 1 in 8 bit auto reload mode is used for generating the baud rate for any serial communication. Hence, it's very clear that timer is the device which is used to produce baud rate. Prioritization among the peripherals is done through. Prioritization among the peripherals is done through interrupt controller. Because several peripherals need to communicate with the processor, but there is only one data bus. So the device with highest priority can able to communicate with the processor. So interrupt controllers prioritize the peripherals. Uh, to interact with the processor. Okay, so parallel port, timer are prioritized through interrupt controller that we need to understand. Okay, so interrupt controller is the right answer. So prioritization among the peripherals is done through interrupt controller. Which one of the following is an example for asynchronous serial communication? Okay. Oh, asynchronous serial communication means uh, communication between keyboard and CPU. So communication between keyboard and CPU is the good example for asynchronous serial communication because asynchronous serial communication means it is a random serial random data transfer um, nobody knows when the data will come and it is a uh, very good example is your keyboard right whenever you press some character in the keyboard some data will go from the keyboard to the cpu so nobody knows when you will press the next key when you will press the at the time interval between first key press and second key press Hence, it is called as asynchronous data serial communication. So, uh, communication between keyboard and CPU is the good example for asynchronous serial communication. So, the right answer is B. So, communication between keyboard and CPU is the right answer. Number are instruction. Number of instructions are more in. Okay, the question. There is a small mistake. Number of instructions. Number of instructions are more in. Number of instructions are more in Cisco architecture because ARM has only minimum number of instructions but complex instructions in computing architecture has large number of instructions. FPG and ASIC has very few instructions when compared to CISC RISC. Okay, so CISC 8051, 8085 microprocessor uses CISC architecture, 8051 microprocessor uses CISC architecture because it has more than 200 instructions, 240 instructions are there in 
but reduced instruction set architecture has less than 100 instructions right where our pick microcontrollers are uh, using risk architecture which has only less than uh, 72 instructions or 36 instructions the number of instructions are more in sysc architecture sysc architecture is the right answer in c programming the range of signed integer is in c programming the range of signed integer is integer means we need to understand it is 16 bit and we say it is integer it is 16 bit so 2 power 16 is 65535 so if it is an unsigned integer it is 0 to 65535 okay but if it is a signed integer means one half of that so minus 32768 to plus 32767 because it is a signed integer for positive number one half of the number to be used and for the negative number one half of the number is because most significant bit is used as a sign bit so one half the most significant bit is zero for another half the most significant bit is one when the most significant bit is one it is called as negative number when the most significant bit is zero it is called as positive number hence the range of signed integer means 16 bit means minus 32768 to plus 32767 is the right answer stack is in okay stack uh, stack comes in uh, interrupt related things as we all know other uh, have studied uh, stack stack is in data memory because uh, data memory when you take about 8051 uh, the stack memory is in the data memory the stack pointer is pointing 07th location of the uh, data memory so whenever uh, any push instruction comes the return address will be pushed to the stack and whenever after, while returning after executing the ret instruction return instruction the return address will be popped from the stack okay so whenever necessary the program can push the uh, return address to the stack uh, whenever necessary the program can pop the return address from the stack so read writing nature is necessary whenever we talk about stack so data memory is the rewritable memory and stack will be in data memory so data memory is the right answer with respect to this question okay so stack is in data memory the next question all the variables that we create in c program all the variables that we create in c program occupies dash memory here also variables means we create unsigned character a b c d so because it is a variable we are going to write into that variable as well as we have to read from that variable so variables occupies the data memory here also uh, the right answer is data memory because data memory is rewritable memory or random access memory so the random access memory inside the microcontroller circle is data memory okay so data are stored in data memory similarly stacks are stored in data memory so the answer for this also data memory is the right answer so all the variables that we create in c program are based data memory in the microcontroller arm processor core is most widely used because of less footprint and a low power consumption the first one is the right answer because it uses minimum number of transistors and it consumes very low power that is the right answer so other than that cisco architecture and the large number of instructions so because arm means name itself just place advanced risk machine uh, r denotes reduced instructions at computing so second answer is wrong more footprint and low power consumption more footprint means more number of transistors hence the third answer is wrong Risk architecture, that's correct, but large number of instructions. This uh, risk architecture do not have large number of instructions. Hence, the right answer is less footprint and low power consumption is the right answer with respect to this question. Okay, so ARM processor core is most widely used because of less footprint and low power consumption. All the power pins are pulled up using pull up resistor to make the power pins as input port. Input port is the right answer. As we all know, at reset, all the ports are configured as input port to protect the uh, application hence we use pull up resistor so all the port pins are pulled up to configure the port as input port so the right answer is input port which one of the following is an exception except exceptions means unfortunately something happens as we discussed right okay so um, hardware interrupt software interrupts and all is happening right exception means something like a dysentery okay something like a dysentery is an exception okay so unfortunately it happens okay but we have to handle that exception which is exception handling kind of things so very good example for an exception is divide by zero error divide by zero error in all the 
digital devices. So which one of the following is an exception? Divide by zero is an exception. Okay, divide by zero is a mm, exception. So interrupt and exception both are same. Interrupts and interrupts are uh, expected. Things will happen. We are expecting. Okay, after three hours we will become hungry. That is expected. Which is periodic interrupt. Sometime college very soon college will open. Which is expected. So which is after which is some interrupt. But unfortunately something happens suddenly means that is exception. Okay, so something like this in three. That's what I'm telling. You. Very interesting, right? Something like a. So let us assume like this mosquito bite is a good example for hardware interrupt. Okay, which is random in nature, right? We do not know when the mosquito will bite. So that is hardware interrupt. So we are reacting for that interrupt, right? Whatever we do, our hand will go and hit the thing. So we are uh, servicing the interrupt service routine, and then we will come back to the main routine, something like that. So software interrupt means uh, every day th three times software interrupt is happening within the stomach. So, which is periodic interrupt most of the time, that, like that we can understand to start with. But exception means unfortunate. That's why divide by zero is a good example. Objective intention is not to divide any number by zero. But while computation, if there is any divide by zero error comes, that is a big exception for uh, computers. Okay. So, exception handling, due to exception handling, it will display as cannot divide by zero or uh, syntax error kind of things. You know, display you would have experienced this. So divide by zero is a good example for an exception. Hence the right answer is fourth one. Which one of the following module is used to interface microphone and loudspeaker in digital audio player? So microphone and loudspeaker. So now I am speaking, you are listening. And when you speak, I will listen. These are all happening only because of codec. So coder decoder. Coder means ADC, decoder means DAC. So only due to the presence of ADC and DAC, which is called as codec and digital signal processor application. We do. Uh, we can interface microphone and loudspeaker. That means microphone is connected to ADC, loudspeaker is connected to DAC. Okay, so we are in our mobile phone, right? In our mobile phone, we are connecting the wire, no? That wire is connected to the ADC and DAC. Okay, so microphone output, microphone output is connected to the ADC and uh, a DAC output is connected to the loudspeaker to our ear. Okay. So someone of you have connected your microphone separately and the loudspeaker separately in a separate two jacks. But if you are using mobile phone, there is no two jacks, only one jack. The same jack itself, you have a mic for microphone, you have one uh, connector, one, uh, one, one, module, one part and for left, we have another part and right, you have another part, ground another part. There are four uh, silver uh, parts segmented by three black rings in your mobile phone connector. So for microphone as well as loudspeaker, you are having the same thing. So that output is connected, that is connected to the ADC and DAC, which is called as codec. So microphones and loudspeakers are connected to codec, which is ADC and DAC in a digital audio player as you see. So the second one is the right answer. Codec is the right answer. Which one of the following is consumer electronics product? Consumer electronics means what we use it in our house. So consumer electronics means what we use in our house. So pick and place machine we are not using in our house. ECG machine we are not using in our house. Anti-lock braking system is not used in our house, all of our house. But most of our house uses washing machines. So washing machine is a good example for consumer electronics product. It's very interesting. Okay. Which one of the following is the correct sequence? So this is very simple and easy answer. Fetching, decoding and executing is the sequence, right? Fetching the op code from the Pitching the op code from the program memory or read only memory to the instruction register. Okay. Pitching the instruction from the program memory or read only memory to the instruction register is the first one. After fetching the instruction to the instruction register, we will decode that instruction. After decoding, the processor will understand what to do. And doing that is execution. So fetching, decoding and execution is the correct sequence, which is the first sequence for any processor to function. Okay, first we have to get and then decode. While decoding, we will understand what to do. Then we will do that. Doing that is called as executing. So the first one is the right answer. Which one of the following is the correct sequence? Fetching, decoding and executing is the correct answer. Which one of the following is a good example for a distributed embedded system? 
okay so printer is a embedded system clear right washing machine is an embedded system tv remote control is an embedded system but embedded system in a luxury car is a good example for distributed embedded system why because the power window is an embedded system so there are four embedded systems in four doors which are distributed hence you can say embedded system in a car is a distributed embedded system for engine we have an engine control unit for brake we have a brake control unit so braking system is an embedded system engine control unit is an embedded system door control module is an embedded system and infotainment system is also a separate embedded system so there are several embedded systems working independently to satisfy the passenger needs okay so embedded systems are distributed everywhere inside the car to satisfy the need of the customer hence embedded systems in a car are distributed embedded systems okay the right answer is 3 embedded systems in a luxury car is a good example for distributed embedded system okay so other three are single embedded system printer has only printer is only a single embedded system washing machine is only one microcontroller and one embedded system remote controller is one microcontroller so here there are several microcontrollers several applications compared to the form satisfy the customer need which is a driver or passenger you can call okay which is very complex also okay so which one of the uh, third one is the right answer right number system luxury car is the right answer as you see here which one of the following statement is correct with respect to sram so static ram is the high fastest ram static ram is the fastest ram as we all know so sram is a slower than dram which is wrong because the sram is faster than dram sram needs memory refreshing no 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 dram only needs refreshing so sram does not need any display memory refreshing sram is non volatile memory so no sorry sram is volatile so all the three statements are wrong sram needs more transistors than dram that is correct okay so all the random access memory inside the microcontrollers are srams even 8051 contains data memory that data memory is also static ram even lpc2148 microcontroller has a data memory that has an sram because if you have a dram as like in our pc as like in our laptop we need display we need a refreshing circuit memory refreshing uh, circuit so that refreshing is not necessary not necessary inside the dram of the microcontroller it is impossible to have the refreshing circuit in the dram hence all the random access memory inside the microcontrollers are static rams but it is very expensive as well as it is high speed why because for a single bit you need six transistors but for single bit you need only one transistor in dram okay so within a small space large memory can be accommodated in dram that is why in our laptop as well as in our pc we have a dram or dd ram dd ram uh, which is low cost as well as large many uh, occupies many many minimum number of transistors but we need refreshing circuit that is easy that we can be that is tolerable with respect to the cost as well as with respect to the memory size but memory inside the microcontrollers are random access memory inside the microcontrollers are very less say for example ram inside our pc is are 4 gb ram but ram inside the 80 tone is just 128 bytes so the uh, size is very minimum uh, the requirement is also very minimum hence srams are most widely used as a um, uh, random access memory inside the microcontroller even though uh, for storing a single bit more number of transistors are used no problem because the size memory size is also minimum okay so approximately sram uses six transistors but dram uses only one transistor with a capacitor because capacitors are used the processing is needed for dram okay so sram needs more transistors than dram is the right answer with respect to this question so which one of the following statement is correct with respect to sram sram needs more transistors than the dram so fourth one is the right answer as you see here the simplest way of checking the output port data is by interfacing the simplest way of checking the output port data is by interfacing very simple interfacing led so interfacing printer not necessary seven segment display we need to do code conversions then only you can able to display one two three four otherwise you cannot able to understand whether the system is working properly or not lcd again we need to do some uh, code conversions like uh, ascii code conversions are necessary and uh, hardware a lot of complexities are there very easily you can interface an led and if led blinks then we can say that logic 1 is coming out from the microcontroller logic 0 is coming out from the microcontroller 
to the right answer is simpler way of checking the output port uh, data is by interfacing LED. LED is the right answer. Okay, LED is the right answer. Okay, LED is the right answer, right? How your microcontroller identifies the key press? Because microcontroller identifies the key press only by the pin. So because the keys are connected to the pin, so already all the pins are connected to pull-up resistors. So all the pins are in logic one state default. So when you press the key, the only way for the microcontroller to identify and pressing the key means have to produce a transition from one to zero. Okay. So by looking at the transition in the pin, microcontroller identifies the key press. So the right answer is second row, second one. So by looking at the transition in the pin, by checking the flag bits, flag will reflect the status of accumulator, right? Okay, so normally flag means it reflects the status of the accumulator. Direction registers uh, in ADF tune, there is no direction registers at all, so it's not the right answer. By looking at the pull up resistor, no, 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 pull up resistors are used for keeping the port pin as an input port. That's all. So, the simple way how microcontroller identifies the key press by looking at the transition in the pin is the right answer. Okay, so the right answer is by looking at the transition in the pin. In ARM7 TDMI, M stands for in ARM7 TDMI, M stands for multiplier. Okay, that is why Macarena song we have then. So, thumb the uh, ARM7, T stands for thumb, D stands for debugging facilities, M stands for hardware multiplier, and I stands for in circuit, emula in circuit emulation facilities. M stands for multiplier. So, presence of hardware multiplier, hardware multiplier is a right answer. Okay, and the second one is the right answer. M stands for multiplier. So, pin cell registers are used in LPC21482. To select the alternate function of general purpose input output is the right answer. So, configure the, to configure the GPIO as an output port, for that we have a direction register. To configure the GPIO as an input port, we have a direction register. As long as it is general purpose input output, direction registers are playing a major role. But when we use the alternate function, Pin cell registers are used. So select the alternate function of the GPIO, pin cell registers are used. Okay. So to select the alternate function of the CPU, CPU is not going to do any other alternate function. So fourth choice is not the right choice. So the right answer is select the alternate function of the GPIO is the right answer as you see here. Which one of the following is an example for multimedia device? So example for multimedia device means PBX is private branch exchange, private branch exchange. So private branch exchange means telephone, telephone, uh, intercom and all. So it is only voice. Inject printer is just printing. It gives an image, but it does not give any voice, etc. So PDA, uh, personal digital assistance, which gives only texts. But set up box is our uh, TV. So set up box is the good example for a multimedia device. So the right answer is for set up box. Totally, how many GPIO lines are there in LPC2148 microcontroller? So there are two ports. One port is uh, port 0, which is 32 GPIO, and another port is port 1, which is 16. So 32 plus 16, 48. So totally, there are 48 GPIO lines are there in LPC2148 microcontroller. So the right answer is port 1, which is 48. Which one of the following output device consumes more power? OK. One of the uh, high power consuming device means LCD, as we all know which consumes only very less power as we all know. PFT screen means thin film technology screen is also consuming only very low power. So backlight LCD display is also consuming very low power. One of the large power consuming devices is LED. So the right answer is first one. Which one of the following output device consumes more power? LED is consuming more power. Okay, so that's why LEDs are not widely used in battery operated device. In battery operated device it uses only LCDs. LCD is only consuming very low power, consumes very low power. Okay. The speed and direction control of the DC motor is done using. Speed control of the DC motor is done by pulse width modulation. Direction control of the DC motor is done by H-bridge. Okay. So PWM and H-bridge is the right answer, which is third one is the right answer. Okay. So delay and data sequence. Delay and data sequence is for stepper motor. Data sequence and delay is for stepper motor. H-bridge and PWM is... Uh, just swapped, but the right answer is PWM. Speed control through PWM, direction control through H bridge. So the question is very clearly given speed and direction. So PWM and H bridge is the right answer. So PWM and H bridge. 
start bit in a serial communication is identified by start bit in a serial communication is identified by transition from 1 to 0 okay if the key press is also identified by transition from 1 to 0 if it is a gpio when the same pin is configured as a receiver pin rxd pin by the time if there is a transition from 1 to 0 that is the start bit okay that we need to understand so start bit in the serial communication is identified by transition from 1 to 1 to 0 is the right answer okay why microprocessor alone is not sufficient for a computer because microprocessor is just a computing engine it can compute that's all it, when you give 2 plus 4 it will add the two number and it will give the answer as 6 but the 6 has to be taken to the memory from the memory it has to be code converted and then given to the display system for the human being to understand hence there is a need for ram rom a parallel port serial port timer interrupt controller etc so why microprocessor alone is not sufficient for a computer because it is just a computing engine that is the right answer because it is not having enough processing power yes it has enough processing power that is not the right answer because it is not having computing capacity it has enough capacity no one can reach the speed of the processor even now because it is not able to read and write the instructions on its own that is also wrong microprocessors can read the instruction from the memory and it can write the data into the memory that is also correct right so the three uh, B, C, D is wrong because it's just a computing engine. Hence, microprocessor alone is not sufficient for a computer. So the right answer is A. Okay. So all the peripherals cannot communicate with the processor simultaneously. Why? This is because processor from the processor we have a common data line. So for example, it is an 8-bit processor. We have D naught to D7 is a data line. So through this D naught to D7, all the peripherals communicates. So simultaneously all peripherals cannot communicate because simultaneously all the peripheral uses the data bus means when one peripheral sends 1 and another peripheral sends 0, so 1 will become 0 due to wire identity logic. Hence at an instant only one peripheral need to communicate with the processor, that is the reason, right? So because the processor do not have capacity, this is wrong, right? Processor has the capacity and the A is wrong. Because the processor's data bus is shared among all the peripherals. This is the right answer. Because the processor's data bus is shared among all the peripherals. So B is the right answer. Because peripheral do not have capacity to transfer the data. All the peripherals have the capacity to transfer the data. That is also wrong. Very high power consumption. That is also wrong. So the right answer is because the processor's data bus is shared among all the peripherals. So all the peripherals cannot communicate with the processor simultaneously because processor's data bus is shared among all the peripherals. Is the right answer. What is host machine? Once again, the same question is repeated. So PC is the host machine. Okay, microcontroller board is a target machine. Both PC and microcontroller board is not a right answer and microprocessor is not an answer. What is host machine? PC is the host machine. What is target machine? Microcontroller board is a target machine. Once again, this is also repeated. Microcontroller board is a target machine. How to represent 2 in 8 bit, minus 2 in 8 bit binary? Okay, so minus 1 means all 1s are minus 1 as we all know. Minus 1 means all 1s are minus 1. So FF is minus 1. And uh, minus 2 means FE is minus 2. So FE is the right answer, right? Okay. FF is minus 1. FE is minus 2. FD is minus 3. FC is minus 4. With respect to hexadecimal representation, right? How to represent minus 2 in 8 bit binary? So minus 2 is FE. Because FF is minus 1. All 1s are minus 1 as we all know very well. So FE is minus 2. So representing minus 2 in 8-bit binary, Fe is minus 2. So Fe is the right answer. In C programming, the range of signed characters. Now it is a character. Character means 8-bit. If it is unsigned character, 0 to 255. But signed character means minus 128 plus 127 is the right answer. Minus 128 plus 127 is the right answer. In C programming, the range of signed character is minus 128 plus 127 is the right answer. Minus 128 plus 127. The frequency of the DC supply, okay. The frequency of the DC supply is dash H. The frequency of the DC supply is, uh, there is no frequency for a DC signal, that's we all know. So the frequency of the DC supply is 0 hertz is the right answer. For an AC 230 volt, 50 hertz. Uh, but for a DC, there is no frequency, right? So the frequency of the DC supply is 0 hertz. 0 hertz is the right answer. Which one of the following is not a DC appliance? Very easily you can say mobile phone works with DC because battery. 
watch work with dc because battery tv remote work with battery because it is dc only dc is gonna dc can be stored so mobile phone uses battery watch uses battery remote uses battery because all are battery operated device iron box is not a dc appliance iron box is a directly an ac appliance so which one of the following is not a dc appliance iron box is not a dc appliance iron box is the right answer which one of the following is not an ac appliance it's very interesting right refrigerator fridge we is an we are connecting to plug point so when we are connecting plug point it is an ac appliance so grinder we are connecting plug point which is ac appliance desktop pc we are connecting to plug point desktop pc i have not given laptop it is very important you think laptop means it can work with battery but desktop pc we are connecting to plug point hence it is also ac appliance but calculator we are not connecting to plug point calculator works with battery so which one of the following is not an ac appliance calculator is not an ac appliance because it is a dc appliance so calculator is the right answer electric trains runs with um it is dc source okay it is a 225000 volt dc okay so electric trains runs with dc source 25000 volts dc very interesting right you could have seen in the electric uh, train that danger 25000 volts dc like that okay so electric trains runs with dc source okay this is very interesting xring aa and phi phi xring aa and phi phi aa means 1010 1010 phi phi means 01010101 so xring is for finding the similarity so these are all aa and phi phi is there is no similarity right when there is no similarity the output is one okay so bit level similarities will be checked so aa and phi phi if you put aa means 1010101 phi phi means 0101010101 find the similarity 10 here 01 10 like this it will goes on so there won't be any similarity with any of the bits so the output is remains 111111 okay so ff is the right answer there is 111111 is the right answer when you xr aa and phi phi the right answer is 11111111 so the right answer is 1111111. Microprocessor is performing binary arithmetic as we discussed. Okay, microprocessor is performing binary arithmetic because uh, half address and full address are the processing element inside the microprocessors, right? ALU is the processing element inside the microprocessor. The basic building block of ALU is half address and full address. Half address and full address do only binary arithmetic, right? So that binary arithmetic output from the accumulator must be converted to VCD first, then it has to be converted to ASCII to display it in the screen or LCD or it has to be converted, VCD has to be converted into seven segment code display it in the seven segment display. So these are all the code conversions that what we study in our digital electronics, right? But things are happening only in binary. So microprocessor is performing only binary arithmetic. Binary arithmetic is the right answer. Okay. Binary arithmetic is the right answer. Subtraction in ALU is performed by subtraction in ALU is performed by two's complement addition. All of us know very well. Subtraction in ALU is performed by two's complement addition. Okay, so there is no subtractor, only adder is available. By performing the two's complement addition, we can do subtraction also. That is what uh, it's very clear. Okay, so the right answer is two's complement addition. So subtraction ALU is performed by two's complement addition. Sign bit is sign bit is most significant bit is sign bit. Okay, as we all know, most significant bit is sign bit. In an 8-bit processor, 8th bit is sign bit. In a 16-bit processor, 16th bit is sign bit. So sign bit is most significant bit is the right answer. Which one of the motor is high speed and reliable motor? So among all the motors, stepper motor, DC motor, AB, AC motor, BLDC motors are high speed motor, which are brushless DC motors. So all the drones, drones have BLDC motors, brushless DC motors, which we can say it is one lakh RPM, very high speed. Okay, so BLDC motor, so high speed reliable motor is brushless DC motor. To measure the frequency of the input signal, we have to, to measure the frequency of the input signal, we have to count the number of pulses per second. Obviously measure the frequencies number of pulses per second is the frequency the right answer is count the number of pulses per second is the right answer flags in the microprocessor reflects the status of the a register okay flags in the microprocessor reflects the status of a register okay flags in the microprocessor reflects the status of the accumulator okay 
uh, whenever there is an uh, carry so carry flag will set whenever there is an overflow overflow flag will set whenever there is a uh, auxiliary there is a carry from third bit to fourth bit auxiliary carry flag will set whenever there is a zero zero flag will set something like that so the water due to some computation whatever is there in the uh, register the flag reflects the status of accumulator that we need to understand so the right answer is uh, reflect the status of a register is the right answer program counter is used to program counter is used to store the address of the next instruction to be executed is the right answer so program counter is used to store the address of the next instruction to be executed is the right answer okay Mm, store one of the data to be processed, show the process and result, store the instructions uh, to be executed. Instead of these three, store the address of the next instruction to be executed is the right answer. Program counter is used to store the address of the next instruction to be executed. Which one of the following memory is the slowest memory? Uh, when we talk about all these three memory, uh, uh, read only memory is the slowest memory. But I have given the wrong answer, right? So this I can correct my mistake, right? I will give some marks to you. So RAM is faster than ROM, right? RAM is faster than ROM. So the right answer here is ROM. Now only I'm just realizing this mistake. Okay. So which one of the following memory is the slowest memory? ROM is the slowest memory. Okay. ROM is the slowest memory. When compared to ROM, DRAM is faster. When compared to DRAM, DDRAM is faster. When compared to DDRAM, SRAM is faster. So among all these four, ROM is the slowest. Okay. So the right answer is the second answer but uh, this is given as okay let me correct me right answer is read only memory which one of the following memory the slowest memory read only memory is the slowest memory okay so which one of the following memory is the slowest memory read only memory is the slowest memory okay so optical motor shaft encoders are used to find optical motor shaft encoders are used to find Encoder means whenever you talk the word, whenever you put the word encoder means obviously speed. Okay, speed. Speed of the motor is the right answer. Okay, so quality secondary, quality of the stator, rotor secondary, vibration status of the motor secondary, but optical motor shaft encoders are mainly used to find the speed of the motor is the right answer. How to measure the direction of rotation of the motor? How to measure the direction of the rotation of the motor? Again, direction of rotation, again, optical encoder with two pulses, as we see rightly in the rotary encoders, right? Okay, to measure the direction of the rotation of the motor, how to measure the direction of rotation of the motor, whether the motor is rotating in clockwise or anti-clockwise, is understood by using an optical encoder with two pulses. Optical encoder with two pulses is the right answer. Okay, so PLL is used to phase lock loop is used to vary the frequency as we all know PLL is used to vary the frequency it will never vary the current it will never vary the voltage it will never vary the power but it will vary the frequency so PLL inside the microcontrollers are used to vary the crystal oscillator frequency PLL is one of the application of the PLL is a frequency multiplier and frequency divider so we can multiply the clock frequency as well as we can divide the clock frequency based on the application requirement which consumes lot of uh, which is helpful in uh, reducing the power kind of things right indirectly okay so one of the best application of uh, PLL is frequency multiplier and divider so that uh, facility is widely used inside the higher end microcontrollers to vary the frequency as per the requirement say for example I need to work with 60 megahertz means with the help of 12 megahertz crystal uh, I can multiply the crystal oscillator frequency into 5 I can make the processor to work with 60 megahertz something like that so PLL can be used as a frequency multiplier so PLL is used for varying the frequency is the right answer so which one of the following application is not using EEP ROM which one of the following application is not using EEP ROM SIM card uses EEP ROM we know very well TV receiver uses sorry, TV receiver uses EEP ROM we know very well mobile phone uses EEP ROM we know very well TV remote control do not have E square ROM not necessary also right tv remote control need to only transmit it need not receive it, it don't want to store anything uh, permanently okay so out of these three very easily we can understand uh, tv remote controller do not have uh, eep rom okay so the right answer is tv remote right answer is tv remote controller addressing modes are used to addressing modes are used to bring the 
to do arithmetic operations. So addressing modes are not for arithmetic operation. Addressing modes are not for logical operation. Addressing modes are not for performing conditional branch. Addressing modes are used to exchange data between the memory and the processor. Okay. So are you giving bringing the data directly to the processor, which is called direct addressing? Are you bringing the indirectly from the memory to the processor, which is called as indirect addressing? So both reading and uh, reading directly or reading indirectly, writing directly or writing indirectly to the memory and from the memory. So for exchanging the data between the microprocessor and memory, different addressing modes are used. Hence, so B is the right answer, as you see here. Addressing modes are used to exchange data between the memory and the processor. End operation is used for, it's very interesting, right? Now you can understand the applications of logical operations, right? Logical end operation is used for masking the bits, right? If you don't want the sum of the bits to be disturbed, so that bits can be masked by uh, making that uh, as logic ones, okay? Okay, that you can understand, right? End operations are used for masking the bits. When you want to mask the corresponding bit, you must use end operations. Okay, so masking bits is the right answer. So for whenever you want to mask the corresponding bit uh, to the uh, for while computing, we have to use and operation. Whenever you have to set, we have to use R operations. R operations you should for setting the bits. When you perform R operation, corresponding bits you will set. Okay, so R operation is used for setting the bits is the right answer. And similarly, XR operation is used for clearing the bits. Okay. So when we XR the accumulator content with accumulator content, accumulator will become clear. Accumulator will get cleared, right? So when we XR the register with the same register, when both are similar means output of the XR operation will become zero. Okay, so XR operation is used for clearing the bits. Or we can find the similarity between the bits. For that we have to use XR operation. As long as it is similar, uh, XR operation output will be zero. When the XR operation output is one means the content of the two register bits are not similar, something like that we can, we can uh, implement in the applications in a more beautiful way. So to mask the registers, we use AND operation. To set the bits, uh, sorry, to mask the bits we use AND operation. To set the bit we use R operation. To find the similarity of the bits we use XR operations. So these three are the major logical operations which is most widely used in lot of applications. So CMOS logic is 3.3 volts, right? As we all know, 12 volts is RS-232 logic, 5 volts is TTL logic, 1.8 volt is the voltage which is used inside the processor. So CMOS supply voltage is 3.3 volts. So the right answer is 3, 3 volt is the right answer. Tiva microcontroller has Cortex M4 ARM core. Tiva microcontroller has Cortex M4 ARM core. Okay, so Tiva is a Texas Instruments microcontroller which has ARM Cortex M4 uh, inside. That's very interesting, right? ARM Cortex M4. Real-time clock is a clock which produces one second delay 100% accurately. As we all know very well, timers are the only device which produces microsecond time delay, millisecond time delay, and nanosecond time delay. When the time delay requirements are in minutes, seconds, and hours, real-time clock is the only uh, solution. Since real-time clock is a clock which produces one second delay 100% accurately. So, one second delay is the right answer. Speed of the DC motor is measured through. Speed of the DC motor is varied through PWM. But speed of the motor is measured through rotary encoder. It's very interesting, right? Okay, we can vary the speed through PWM. We can change the direction through H bridge. And ADC is odd man out. So, speed of the motor is measured through rotary encoder. Rotary encoder is the right answer. Direction of the rotation measurement is done through here also rotary encoder. Direction of the rotation measurement is also done through. Okay. So direction of the rot rotation, direction of rotation is done through H bridge. But direction of rotation measurement is done through rotary encoder. So whenever there is a rotary encoder, it becomes closed loop control system. Okay. The speed of the motor becomes closed loop control system through rotary encoder. Similarly, looking at the in which direction the water is rotating, for that we have to understand only through rotary encoder. Okay. Direction of rotation measurement is done through rotary encoder. Similarly, speed of the motor is measured through rotary encoder. Okay. Which ARM Cortex series used in mobile phones? Because mobile phones are having multimedia applications, right? So both audio and video. 
So ARM Cortex A series are most widely used for multimedia applications. Okay, so all our mobile phones has ARM Cortex A series of microcontrollers. Not only mobile phones, all the television. Today we have a smart TV. All the smart TVs are using ARM Cortex A series of microcontrollers. ARM Cortex A8 or A9, ARM A11. Okay, ARM Cortex A11 series are used in most of the smart TVs today. Okay, wherever there is a multimedia, wherever there is audio and video, there the, there exists ARM Cortex A series of control, microprocessor core. Wherever there is a control applications, on off control applications, so wherever there is a microcontroller, ARM Cortex M series are widely used. Okay, so which ARM Cortex series is used in mobile phones? ARM Cortex A series is used in mobile phones, is the right answer. Cortex A series is used in mobile phones. Which module is to protect the microcontroller? So who will protect the microcontroller? All of us know, timer is not going to protect, GPIO is not going to protect, PLE is not going to protect, watchdog timer is going to protect the microcontroller from the hanging, as we all know very well. WDT is watchdog timer. Okay, it's very simple and very interesting. When an embedded system becomes, when an embedded system becomes IoT based system, when an embedded system is connected with internet, it becomes IoT based system. How an embedded system can be connected with internet? So when bits and bytes from embedded system travels in a data bus to connect with internet, then embedded systems becomes IoT based system. So embedded systems become to IoT based systems through 3B. 3B is the right answer, which is B. So which one of the following is not performing linear control? Okay. So ceiling fan, do linear control, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which you Volume control in the speaker, linear control. Lamp intensity control, linear control. Iron box on the on-off control. So iron box on the curry put a cotton like you Then you keep it in cotton and the cotton suit on this half iron. And the curry put a suit come here, some already on iron. So we do on-off control. Iron box is doing on-off control. Even though heat is linear, but switching between the thermostat is on-off control. So Iron box is not performing linear control. Iron, iron box is performing on off control. So, iron box is the right answer here. Keyboard is connected to PC through USB port today, right? Today we are connecting the keyboard to PC through USB port today. So, USB is the right answer. Right? So, HDMI, where we connect our monitor and uh, projector, etc. Earlier, VGA port is for monitor. Earlier, uh, for uh, keyboard, RS232 use, but nowadays we use USB for connecting the keyboard with PC. 2764, 2764 is read-only memory. The number two denotes it is read-only memory. So any IC which starts with the number two is read-only memory. So read-only memory is the right answer. So the right answer is A. Okay. So the seven denotes it is ultraviolet erasable. Okay. Seven denotes it is ultraviolet erasable. Okay. So the right answer is two. That is the number two denotes it is read-only memory, which is A. Which one of the following is a parallel port IC? All of us have studied in our UG itself, right? So which one of the following is a parallel port IC? A255. A255 is a programmable peripheral interface. A255 is a parallel port IC. A251 is a serial port IC. Universal synchronous or synchronous IC transmitter. A259 is an interrupt controller. A279 is a keyboard display controller. So A255 is a programmable peripheral interface, which is parallel port IC. Which one of the following is a parallel port IC? A255 is a parallel port IC. VCC means voltage connected to collector because all the basic building block of microprocessor is a transistor which acts as a switch. So VCC means voltage connected to collector this is the right answer, right? The first one is the right answer. So voltage connected to capacity is not the right answer. Voltage connected to crystal, no way to match. Voltage connected to controller, so it's not on use. The right answer is voltage connected to collector is the right answer. Which one of the following device need to be interfaced with microcontroller first? Which one of the following device need to be interfaced with microcontroller first? Output device need to be interfaced with microcontroller. Only with LED blinks, we will stop blinking like that. So first, I'll connect an LED and uh, write a program for blinking of an LED and uh, download the code and check whether the LED is blinking. If the LED blinks, microcontroller is sending out the logic one, sending out the logic zero. So connecting an LED and checking whether the controllers are working or not is the first and foremost requirement. Hence. Output device has to be connected first with respect to microcontroller, it has to be tested. So, which one of the following device need to be interfaced with the microcontroller first? Output device need to be interfaced with the microcontroller first. If cathode of the LED is connected to microcontroller port pin, then dash is given through the port to switch on the LED. 
cathode of the led is connected to microcontroller board cathode connect pani vechinalle zero nu artham nunchi then zero is the given through the port so the logic zero is the right answer right? if cathode of the led is connected to the microcontroller board pin then logic zero is given through the port to switch on the led so logic zero is the right answer logic zero is the right answer which one of the following application use only leds and microcontroller obviously traffic light controller